So here's a little challenge for you. I'm going to have two pieces played. One of them is by Bach, but one of them is by a piece of artificial intelligence. But can you sniff out the difference? So was that the bark, or is this the real thing? So you've heard them both? Which one do you think was artificial and which one was human? The answer will be revealed later in the video. In this age of AI and automation, I think many of us are worried whether we're going to have a job in the future. Are they going to all be done by robots and computers? Well, I think there is one thing that we believe is somehow unique to the human species, and that's being creative, writing that novel painting a wonderful portrait or perhaps even composing a piece of music. Surely being creative is kind of unique to us as humans. It's an expression of what it means to be human. Well, one of the first coders in history thought otherwise. Ada Lovelace was taken by her mother to see an amazing machine that had been created by Charles Babbage. This machine, the analytic engine, was created to do amazing calculations, multiplication, division, even square roots. But when Lovelace looked at this machine, she thought, hmm, maybe this could do some more interesting things. And she started to write down instructions to make the machine do some more interesting tasks. And these notes she wrote down, we now regard as some of the first computer code. But while she was writing, she began to speculate that maybe the machine could do something a little bit more artistic. And she thought perhaps the machine could compose elaborate pieces of music of any degree of complexity or extent, as she wrote. But she had a little word of caution. She thought that any music that was created by this machine was still really the creation of the human who told the machine to do the thing. In a way, the machine couldn't originate anything, she believed. I think in the past that was probably true because code was written in a very top-down manner. A human would have to tell the machine what to do. But in the last few years, there's been a real phase change in the way code is being written. Code is being written really from the bottom up. Code is being written such that it can learn. It can learn from its interaction with data. It can learn such that it can change itself, mutate, become something new. And if that's the case, then maybe it can create something which the coder, the original human, might be surprised by. So I think we're beginning to see an age where the code and the coder are beginning to separate. So perhaps the code itself could really be creative and make something new. Well, what about music? What about that original challenge that Ada Lovelace had? Could it actually compose music? After all, there's a lot of human music for it to learn on. Perhaps it could learn styles and be able to create something very similar. Well, when it comes to music, AI always starts with Bach. Why? Because Bach has a kind of mathematical character to it. He has a lot of kind of recognizable patterns. If there's a piece of music on the radio and it's by Bach, many people can spot quite quickly who the composer is because he has kind of signature styles. And so perhaps the AI could learn those styles to be able to produce something which sounds a little bit like Bach. In fact, Bach even wrote some of his pieces of music a little bit using code. The musical offering 
was written in a kind of cryptic way where the performer would have to read the kind of code written on the page to kind of expand the piece into the music that Bach intended. So now it's time to reveal the answer to the Choral Quiz. It was the second one that was in fact by Bach. So I wonder how many of you got the right answer or how many of you were tricked. But if it can learn how to play like Bach, can AI start to do something more interesting to take us into the new, to compose its own sort of music? Many people might think that this is a terrible threat to humanity. But actually, I'm a little bit more optimistic. I think this is a great opportunity for us. I think many creative people actually start to get stuck in a rut. They start to repeat behaviours. They start to do things which they always worked in the past. And I think we start to behave a little bit too much like machines. So I think there's an opportunity for AI to kick us out of these kind of comfort zones that we've got stuck in and actually be creative again once as humans. So I don't see AI as a competitor. I see AI as an amazing collaborator. <laughs>